All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode. Oh, words. I'm so sorry. I've been doing so good until now. Welcome back to another episode of Civilization VI with me, Ayendis. <laughs> um, I, we are here again watching another video for a first look on a new leader coming out for the Rat Gathering Storm uh, update that's going to, well, DLC that you can get coming in February. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go straight into this and see what we have to learn about Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa leads Molly in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. Add to Steam wish list up here. Woman, I don't need you to tell me to add it. I already know. He may have been the richest man who ever lived and used his wealth as a tool to enrich his empire. Pretty legit. Molly's unique ability is Songs of the Jaili. City centers receive additional food and faith for adjacent deserts and desert hills tiles. Interesting. Mines will provide less production, but a significant gold increase. And I don't like that. I get the gold increase, but do you really have to, like, hinder his efforts with production? That just doesn't seem fair. And commercial hub buildings can be purchased with faith. That also seems legit, but I do not like the whole hindering him with production. That just still doesn't, no. Molly's unique district is the Suguba, which replaces the standard commercial district. Mm. This district grants a discount to every faith and gold purchase in the city in which it's placed. And that is legit. <laughs> That would be so helpful. And receives a major adjacency bonus for rivers and holy sites. The Monde Kalu Cavalry is Molly's unique unit. This medieval unit receives gold from hills and provides protection to nearby trader units. What are they? Some type of pillagers at the same time? And I see this. This is new. Is this happening with Gathering Storm? We're going to get actual like storm weather patterns to see on the maps? That'd be kind of cool. Mansa Musa's unique ability is Sahel Merchants. <laughs> Golden Ages increase trader capacity, and trade routes receive extra gold for each desert tile in the origin city. Though mm -hmm. desert empires typically struggle to grow, Molly's focus on gold and purchase power will give you what you need to keep up with or surpass civs settled elsewhere on the map. Money okay. may not buy happiness, but you may be able to buy victory as Molly. With this, but can you really buy victory? <laughs> can you though? Much gold and faith in his pocket. Mansa Musa can go for any type of victory. Will you store up the treasures of this world and the next? How will you lead Molly in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm? All in all, I like it. Again, it I feel like they're going for more leaders that are specific to certain types of regions and certain types of world gameplays that you gameplays world parts of the map that would work for them, which I appreciate because it's a bit more historically accurate to those leaders compared to just being like, meh, here's something they get. But no, now you actually want when you select this leader to settle in that area. Like I want if I want to be the Incans, I want to live in the mountains. If I want to be Canada, I want to go and live in the in the great white north <laughs> with the snow. If I want to be Molly, then I want to go live in the desert. Like I feel like it helps you play this game differently and that i'm super excited about because as you know with my playthroughs i don't play this game very differently which is really bad i really should try it different ways just to explore the game mechanics a bit noir but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump back into everything while we are trying to be we are korea i believe and we are trying to win via science so let's get back in there and rock some science all right so we've just jumped right back into here and i've actually been playing a few turns as of right now i've just been constantly building builders because we really 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 need must be naval unit i wanted to buy a naval unit eventually because we need to explore this way and hopefully we'll find some type of what's it called city state over here that we can use because the uh, last city state i had unfortunately switched loyalties to Memvenzinga. So they're not under my control, but I don't particularly want them because all the city-states I know are so far away from us. So I'm hoping there's like an island over here I can take over and expand to as well, but we will have to see. Um, now you take an embassy, please. And friends, 
awesome. The only person I lost was friends it was Philip II. He got quite mad at me after. Uh, well, we, first our friendship ran out, and then right afterwards, instead of renewing it, he just got mad at me. And yeah, <laughs> that's all it was. That's how it went. Um, so I'm just trying to stay as friends as possible with these other four so that they don't think they can just go to war and pick on me. That would be very bad. Very, very bad. Um, maybe I should just do some exploring with this guy. Oil. In the middle of nowhere. I can't actually make this guy go out on his own, unfortunately. That sucks. Let's go ahead and get out here. Maybe we'll find something. I don't know. Uh, you build some crab stuff, and then over here, and then that one, one, two, three, four. Maybe I could buy one more piece of tile for you right here and give you a whatever it's called. What's that called? A sawmill? Uh, I think it's called something like that. That'd be good. This place is just going to be huge on money, isn't it? I can put a great harbor right there and have it be the most expensive harbor in the world. Ooh, land? Do you have a city-state? Hello, land. You look pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hush, hush, hush. Y'all are mad at each other. I got it. Barbarian, so that means no one else is living on here. Usually. Oh, beautiful. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's do some industrialization. Definitely doesn't look like anyone's here. Oh, ho, ho. I like this land. I might just take it. It's not that far away, really. Hmm. <laughs> ah! They didn't take it, right? No, I just went back here. Well, at least I know there's land out there. Let's do... I'm still building builders for now. I really want everyone to get up as much as possible. These cities I consider done. This one's done. This one will be done soon. I have one builder coming here. One will go here and one more there. And that should be good for now because they each get five. So the builder that's coming here can do one. What do you need? You really need production and the food. So we'll probably do food, four, actually food, diamonds, fish, and then windmill right there, lumber, lumber mill there. So that'll be five. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm pretty much better, but I guess not. Here we'll get one, two, three, four, five. This one might need two, so two more so two more settlers, two more builders. Yeah, two more builders will be good. Yeah, that's what I'm a thinking. And then after those two, we can set our sights on to expanding because I know our city will be as good as possible. Ugh, it wouldn't let me build it there. Come on. Come on, you guys. Let's load. And I made sure I gave everyone money per turn, so everyone's getting like six or seven gold per turn, so hopefully they can stop being such whiners. Um, let's purchase you. Yes. You do a library, please. Very good, very good. And we just gotta wait till these builders get in place so I can get all these uh, improvements going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spies are everywhere. I get it. I know. I know. I don't particularly care, though. How are we doing? Congo, of course, is leading with victory. I'm in second place to China. For Of course I'm in second place to China. <laughs> for science. Of course I am. Oh my goodness. That's just hilarious. Uh, yes. Your walls. And just keep improving those walls. Now that you have all this food, hopefully you grow a bit more. <sighs> Everyone's still upset about amenities. Even though I changed my policies so that I get one amenity per person garrisoned. But they still are so upset about it. Hmm. <laughs> I should go there, 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 there. Yeah, because I can't get down except over here. Jeez, that was a loud crescendo. Came out of nowhere. You're just minding your own business, and then BAM! You get hit with that crescendo. It's like, okay guys, got it. Whatever you want. 
Yes, you can go here. And let's do Uno Mas. Yes, you need to do, do a market for now. I don't have any place I want to send envoy, um, envoys, envoy, whatever they're called. <sighs> I have really nowhere to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do these last few improvements here for these cities. And then we'll be back after that. Hopefully we'll be closer to the end of this age. I feel like this entire age is not going to get us anywhere. And then we're going to hit a dark age. Because I don't even know what I'm supposed to do for this. Am I in the industrial age? I don't even know. I really don't even know what age I'm in. I totally forgot. Huh. I'm just going to accept the fact that we're probably going to hit a dark age. <laughs> just accepting my fate now. <laughs> So it's been a few turns, and I've pretty much gotten everything where I wanted to be here on the mainland with improvements and such. <clears throat> and we even got enough money to go out and expand at these little islands that have the iron and the horses that I've been dying to get for so long. Um, I just need to go ahead. You guys can swap, and you're holding on to those. Because they get those two resources, they get these two, and then they'll get these farms as well and these this guy has plenty to go around i also in case you can't tell have this guy out here just exploring this land to see what's out here i already killed two barbarians i do like this cotton here it'd be a great resource to trade with as well as the stone and the the whatever you want to call that the the rice <laughs> um probably would be best to build the city right here i'm gonna have to heal a turn before they attack me if I build a city here, then I can do a sale on there, and I get one, two, three. One, two, three. I won't get that stone, but that's fine. But I would get up to the rice and the fish over there, and that hill, and whatever else is over there. That would probably be a perfect spot. Unless I could do right there, but even then, that wouldn't get me. Yeah. So right there would be perfect. And I am building already a... Uh, settler let's do we start working on another one as well um everyone went through their usual oh i met another city state finally right here ah very close hmm what oh declared war why didn't you go you could have gone with hojo hojo would have loved to go to war with you he just asked me to go to war with philip but i was like nah nah i didn't feel like it can you just kill this guy real quick I don't want to send my envoys to Yervin because it's a city-state that's meant... Oh, and there's salt there. That would be so good. And then I could get the deer, too. Oh, that's a perfect spot. Yeah, I don't want to send it to them just yet. That would be a perfect spot for a little city. Over here looks good, too, but I'd have to explore it. I don't know. We're getting pretty close to Menvenzinga down here, so I'm not sure how good that would be. Unless it's a separate island. If it's a separate island, then I'll be very, very happy. Ugh. Uh, 10 plus melee. That'd be great. They're gonna hit me with some bows, some arrows. Where did they even come from? I don't even know. Don't even know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't like me. Whatever. Bye, Philip. Oh, shoot. I needed to redo my friendship with them before they decided not to like me. Uh-oh. Everyone may hate me now. Uh-oh. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, my God. That was a slaughter. <laughs> and they took no damage. That's a slaughter fest if ever I did see one. Will you guys like me still? Yes. Thank God. And how about you, my best friend? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. I don't need more people mad at me. I really don't. Um, let me go ahead. I don't have Knitter. You, Mr. Huacha, come here. Go explore that island. Let's see what's on it. Because if it has silver, that would be another good resource to trade with. Um, that would be pretty much my only motivation going down there so I can have that to trade with and make more money. <sighs> Still, we have gotten nowhere with these points, honestly. I don't know what we're going to do. You only have one building mode left. How about you do a... Whatever this is over there. <laughs> yes, repeat your route. Um, 
No, you should probably wait until I have my first settler here before I have a move out. Otherwise, that'd be a little dangerous. And we're almost there. Four turns left. And you're going to take forever. Ugh. I hate how long it takes. And each turn seems to just drag on. Oh my lord, what just happened? Largest city of our people. Cool. Yeah, it's our capital. I like to hope it is. And we get one of you. A great scientist. Yes. What are you going to give me? Random tech. Awesome. Thank you very much. How am I doing with great people anyways? Mm. I really don't have any religious points to spend. That's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, only 600. That's like nothing. <laughs> uh, so sad, honestly. Compared to how I was doing in the very beginning. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just get so... Sanitation! Maybe I am in the era where I can just buy all my sanitation sewers. If I can do that, then I'll get a bunch of points. Um, I just need more money for it. So it'd probably be a really good idea if I stop trading <laughs> away my resources. Well, no, maybe. It depends on which resources I'd be trading. Let's see. Do I have... Do you want an embassy? Just take my embassy. <laughs> like me already. No, there's nothing I can give you. Okay, whatever. I tried. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, thank you. Now you like me. <laughs> she only likes people who are stronger than her let's be honest she's just a kiss up a total kiss up in that regards uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep growing and hopefully I can get these settlers over here relatively unharmed and in a quick time period please be great <laughs> absolutely great if possible and I hope nothing happens to it while I'm over here taking it across the ocean <laughs> Yeah, what has Rome ever done that was any type of grand accomplishment? I have no idea. Guys, what could it be? I don't know. I think I have the benefit where if I purchase a sanitation sewer, then I get points. I hope so. So we're going to test it with this new city I just put down. And because it's on a new continent, I did get more points for the era, which is great. I'm going to send my other settler I'm building down here to the silver island I found. Because it's literally just an island filled with silver. And we have one hill perfectly for our CON district, which will be great. Um, yeah, you do that. You do... You're going to take forever to do that. You do that. But I purchase it for you first. I can't... For, oh, it's there. Ah, it does work. Although it's expensive. <laughs> 1,200 is so expensive. Oh, Lord. But it does give me a point each time. I'm going to need everyone to just turn gears and try to get it done as fast as humanly possible. Right now. <laughs> right now, please. <sighs> yeah, hurry up, hurry up, and load. I do want to keep exploring this land, though, to see what it's like. <sighs> Let's first go here. Change production. Sewer's going to take you 32 turns. Do it. You, when you're done, you can work on a sewer. How about you? Uh, sewer take you 16. Beautiful. You can finish it after your walls are done. Down there. That should be pretty good. I should start having this guy explore a bit more. I'm assuming there's a bandit camp on this island somewhere. But I haven't found it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People are... Oh, hi. Uh, no. I will give you fur. Or maybe diamonds. Same deal. Let's come down over here, mister. Let's do fur. Accept deal. But stop it with your little clinky clinky. That was getting so annoying. Uh, oh my lord. Maybe uh, Miss Cleopatra will start trading with me. I'm really hoping to get another friend on my side eventually. Take my embassy. Ah, do you want diamonds? Oh yeah, 17 gold for 30 turns. I will take that. That is beautiful. I love that. Who did I meet? Preslav. Preslav, I wouldn't mind having. You're pretty far down here, though. Still pretty far away. I'd like prefer if there was one over here somewhere. 
Ah! No! Don't pillage my trade routes! That's not cool! And I reassigned a bunch of my governors just so that everyone was happier now. If I do... They don't have any nice resources that I could trade with. That's what I want. I want another city-state that I could actually trade with their resources because it'd be under my command. Hmm. Hmm. I really hope one pops up over here. I forgot I need to move this guy out of here so I can keep exploring. Ugh. Okay, you need to go right there. And you need to build a sewer. So I'm building one, two, three. Then I'll build four, five, six, seven. That'll be seven points. Get me up to a hundred. Almost so close. I don't have enough cities to buy it for everyone. Um, if I let me purchase one here, and then it'll get me up to a hundred. Uh, six more points to go. Hmm. Hmm. Load already. Hold up, what's up? Let's purchase you a sewer. Awesome possum. Let's have you actually begin to explore. I can't believe that guy's boat is still there. <clears throat> Hopefully this is a big island. I'd really appreciate that. Tor Toronto. Toronto, where are you? Much close getting there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. God, my trade units keep getting plundered. Stop plundering them. Yes, please do your sewers. Sewers are sh extremely necessary. Um, let's go here. And we'll go up and around and we'll see how far over this little island goes. So let me explore this for a bit and hopefully find a city-state that I like. And I'll be back with you guys then. Hopefully. Maybe. Hey! Germany! Germany, I forgot to tell you, decided to not like me anymore for some reason. But now he seems to be warming back up to me again. Hey! Japan? Don't like that. Oxford University. Oh, it has to be connected. Fine. <laughs> I better build that. I really want that, actually. Oxford University would be great. Japan, I don't like you here. Please go away. This is my land, not your land. Go. Go. Well, I was correct when I said I knew my fate and I was not going to be uh, getting <laughs> out of a dark age this time. Because even though I can purchase things, I don't have enough gold to purchase enough sewers to get me up to 106 points, unfortunately. Because the era is about to end in like six turns. So I'll get one more there and there, but that's about it. And then I'll be at 100 instead of 106, sadly. <sighs> yeah, six turns right there. That's so sad. And I don't have any great people. I mean, I have one there, but that'll take a while. Why am I a great admiral? I don't even have... Oh, world wonders, that's why. Great general, possibly. Sure, we can have open borders. Bye. But there's not much else. Like, I don't have the money. I don't have the faith for it. I'm just kind of screwed when you really look at it. Which is extremely unfortunate. That will be done in one turn. That won't be done in time. Ugh. Oh so close if they just let me buy all the sewers it'd be great can i loan i wish you could get loans that'd be so cool if you could actually get loans that'd be legit they should add that in a future <laughs> addition to the game and being able to get major banks and loans and things like that that would make everything more interesting in my opinion um please do another yeah all my traders kind of got plundered Sure, do another one. <sighs> sad, sad, sad day. I tried my hardest. And I'll just let it be. Because you guys are not going to be able to get it done. Actually, keep those locked. And that one. Uh, keep that locked. Don't care. Lock, lock, lock. Don't care about that. Back to normal, I suppose. Everything's back to normal. 
And we're going to be in our first star gauge for this playthrough in just a few minutes. <sighs> I keep wanting to cough so bad. I don't know why. And I really need to come down here and build, get a builder. Can I purchase a builder yet? I can. Let's do that. And we can get some silver and start trading that. That'll be really nice. Really, really nice. Oh, that was exactly how much gold I had. <sighs> oh. 56 from deals. Yeah, I have a lot of deals. I have a lot of deals going on. And hopefully more with the silver. Come on. Oh, that's... I didn't think I'd be hitting that, but okay. Let's go there first. <clears throat> Still five points away. So close yet so far. So sad. Probably could have done a harbor here and that would have given me more points. I should have thought about this a bit better. I was just too focused on expanding and trying to do my best. And this island's pretty small. I could do one more city here and think of one more here and not call that a day. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Go away, China. Seriously, you guys have to come that quickly? And try to convert my people that quickly? My god. They're just obsessed. Oh, you actually have extra movements. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. And Dark Age. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Come on. You can do it. Just load. It's okay. <laughs> Please load already. Our yeah. Fill away your command. Is this the... This isn't the last era. The last... In... Shut up. I know we have fallen in the Dark Age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One error score for each industrial or later. One error score, complete the trade route. One error, nope. Artifact, no. Let's do reform. Da, 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 da. Do a university. Why not? Go back over here. I just want to get the silver. Who did I need? Cabal. I did take over Toronto down here, hoping that they would, like, be helpful to me, but not really. <sighs> Can we load the turn faster? Beautiful. Why are you at negative two? What are you doing? <laughs> I know you want more production, but you need to grow, too. You can't just do that to yourself. Loading, loading, loading. Come on. Just one more silver and let's see how much gold we can get. Okay, you purchase that. You go build. Now, let's go China. What would you give me? Give me all that gold. Goodbye. Peter. What would you give me? Eh... Eh, I kind of want everything to be over 10. So no thank you. I already talked to China. Cleopatra, what would you give me? Hell no, that's even worse. Japan. That's worse. Well, it's about the same. Ugh. Someone pay me well. You don't want silver? Six? Rome, maybe? Huh. Y'all act like you've never seen... You all have silver, but you don't. Hell yeah. 22 per turn? Bye. Oh, wait. No, I'm not done. <laughs> One more. No. You're even worse. Germany. Hell yeah. Give me that gold. I will make money <laughs> being <laughs> silver exporter galore. <laughs> uh and that's going to have to do it for today's episode, you guys, though. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below if you have anything you'd like to comment. And subscribe if you're new. As always, I'll see you all in the next episode where hopefully we can turn things around. Because I'm not so sure about winning this game right now, to say the least. But thank you all again so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>